Hey guys, this is a, a cowboy I did and what we're going to do on this uh, YouTube, we're going to do a bust figure from about here on up. And this is the carving that, uh, well actually the face that I was going to do. Uh, I'll let you kind of look at it. And I'm probably going to do more talking this time, I mean uh, uh, showing you the carving and explaining stuff to you before we get started but uh, this is a little difficult in here with this mustache and and right in between here now I'm going to set this up uh, carving back up on the and a bench and I'm going to show you the bandsaw uh, cutout that I have okay here's the bandsaw cutout I've drawn on not a whole lot of detail on the front of the face but I did on both sides and we'll, we're going to take that off shortly and uh, I did want to say one more show you one more thing here is here is the actual cutout from that the carving that I showed you when I cut cut the bandsaw cowboy out this was the top part that I that I used now if you look right here I've got a little extension here of the neck that can be if you wanted to cut that out on a bandsaw you could make a bottle stopper or, or just a, a a separate head so you could drill in the, the base and then uh, turn the head but uh, we're not going to do that we're just going to carve from here like I've started here uh, so what we're going to do I'll let you look at that uh, that's my pattern right there for it but we're going to start, what we're going to do now, we're going to start removing the wood away right in here and in here and right in here and in here. So to do this, I, I, I take my big old gouges and I, I come in and I start gouging away. And this is a big number 11. I start scooping away at it. And uh, I try to do one side first. I may jockey back and forth a little bit. But uh, this old guy here, he's a fun carving to do. A, he, it, it does get, a, there's a little bit of difficulty when you uh, are getting down in here between the mustache and the neck. And that's, see, that's a big uh, uh, number 11 gouge. And it, it uh, I, I, turn, I turn it on its side and kind of use it like a chisel or a shallow gouge. But I'm putting the bottom of the gouge right on the brim of the hat. And I'll cut away at that. And what I'll probably do, I'll, I'll get you started. We'll get started on this, and uh, we can, uh, uh, when I, before the next YouTube, I'll have it all roughed out uh, to where we need to start from the next video. Let's see, it's, I'm taking that out. I'm going to come back here and start gouging away here. I'm using a, if you notice, I've got two gloves on. When I'm roughing out a carving, uh, I like to have another glove on this hand because you simply, when you're holding all these sharp edges and you're, and you're gouging away, you don't want your knuckles and your fingers to scrape on these uh, pointed areas. So I've learned through time you want to uh, wear another glove. You don't have to, but I've really nicked my hands up a bunch of just on the wood itself. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. All right, now see we got that pretty much in there. 
Now I'm going to do this side over here. Start it. We're, we're pretty good in focus there, Peyton. Yep. Alright. And I'm probably going to have to turn it around and go the other way. I think it'll cut a little better. No, it's, it's going to it's going do better this way, I think. <clears throat> but you want to you want to use the biggest tool you can, you know, you, uh, uh, now here's my little number nine I use all the time. You can use it and go in and cut with it, but for, for video's sake, I like to use a bigger one so I can remove a, a little bit more wood a little faster. Now, you could put this in a vise and work it that way. But uh, I've always had a, a tendency to uh, just uh, work the old human vice, my hands. Now see, you really you want to get in there and start digging away. And it takes a little bit of time, but you get to see what I'm doing here. And I, I think I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this little soft V and come in here and start working away right in here. What I'm doing, I'm coming along the crown of this hat. And you can go ahead, you could uh, take a a coping saw and go in there and cut down to your brim if you needed to. But, how are we doing on time, Peyton? Got about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, oh, we're doing good here. This is a lot of wood removal here. And we're doing this in the morning. We usually do these vi videos at night, but old Peyton got up early and said, he said, I'm ready to go. So I was kind of surprised, but here we are getting this video. Going. I'm about, I'm just about to the crown of that hat, and when I get there, let me see here, oh yeah, see, that's what I want. Now, can you see that, Peyton? Yep. Now I'm going to take this old uh, soft V, I really don't know what size this is, it's a large one, and I'm going to come in and work, separate that brim and the crown of the hat. I don't want to go to real these right now because I, it's harder to correct an angle than it is a curve. Alright, that's pretty good where we want it there. And I'm going to come on this side. How you doing there, Peyton? Can you see that? Yep. Okay. And I had someone ask me, would I do a cowboy out of a, a bandsaw blank? And uh, I told them I would. And this is how I do all my originals. I mean, I cut it out on a on a on a bandsaw and. Well, first of all, I draw it out and draw the pattern out on a piece of paper, and then I and then I'll put it on a block of wood and work from that. Uh, but right now, that's where I mean, it, there's some more wood to be taken off. But we're going to get right in here on this side, and right in here, I'm going to use this uh, 
shallow gouge. I mean, uh, soft V, rather. Now, on this soft V, you can take it and put it on its side, and, and you can remove wood this way. And you see, it leaves a little gouge mark. And what I'm, what I'm really trying to do is get this here all out in here. And we may not get there on film, on, on camera, but I'll, you see what I'm doing. And let's see, let me go in there with a little, this larger gouge. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And when I'm rough, once again, when I'm roughing out, you, you want to have another glove on because these little sharp edges and stuff, they really play havoc on your hands. That wasn't too quick of a move, was it, Peyton? Nope. All right, you can see it all right. And the beauty of this thing, it removes a lot of wood, but now it's got to be sharp. You want to need, you got to have it sharp. See, I'm coming down to this line. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start working on over here just to kind of get show you what I'm doing. Now, I do need to make a, a cut right across here where the neck and the And the brim of the hat will be. And we'll go in. Actually, let's go in with this little small number nine. It it's good and sharp, and it uh, can get in those little tight areas. See, I've taken off all my pencil marks in there. How we doing on time there, Pete? Got about five minutes. Five minutes, okay. See, when I'm running across here, I'm hitting that piece with this finger here, and I can, ve I can feel it through my glove. Now, I'm kind of working a little fast for the, so I can, uh, for video's sake. Now, I... If I was just carving uh, regularly, I, I wouldn't try to be going this quick. But I want to get most of this in that I can to show you what I'm doing. Let's go on this side here a little bit and work. I'm going to go switch back to a, see I want a little bit of angle. I mean, I want a little cut away from the brim of that hat. And I'm getting I'm getting close. But when I do the next uh, YouTube, I'll already have this wood out for you. And then we'll start really rounding the, the head and probably the brim of the hat. Can you see that all right, Peyton? I mean, yep. is it? And this is, uh, I mean, I, I enjoy doing rough outs, but this is the way I learned to carve. Uh, I, drew, I would draw my pattern out on a block of wood. And then when I was able to get a bandsaw, I would then cut it out on a bandsaw. But before I had a bandsaw, I would draw it out and I would use chisels and all kinds of tools just to uh, just to get the shape even uh, I, I would even use a wood rasp to shape it up with but when I purchased the uh, bandsaw it really uh, really helps you out and see you just I turn that that soft V on the side, I'm really using almost a chisel.
but that that bottom of that U, that U right in there is is it's making an area a gouge area so I can cut right back over it's almost like a router bit but you just want to keep working at it and uh, well I was trying to think what we're going to do yeah, I, we'll get this all out and uh, and uh, around the, the brim of the hat, and then we'll work a little bit on this bust area here, or the shoulder area, rather. But, let me see how I'm doing it here. I'll go back in now. I'm going to cut this. Uh, all right, okay. This is a number of... Five gouge. I'm going to kind of cut it a little bit. It's getting, it's coming, coming right along. And I'm almost down to my line on here. But you see how it's coming there? All right, I'm going to come around here and start removing some wood here. And once again, we're probably not going to get all this done on this YouTube here. But when I come back for the next one, we'll, I'll have it cut out for you. How about it, Peyton? How much time we got there? About a minute. About a minute? Yep. Okay, I'm going to stop here and show you. I've got to remove this much more on this and a little bit more on this side and then I'll redraw in the face and then on the next video we'll we'll round the hat now when I cut this one out I cut the little brim a little bit flatter than what this one is I, I wanted a bigger arch on this one but I wanted to change this one up a little bit so anyway uh, you see where I'm going with that? Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. So, uh, from that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And on the next video, we'll get started on the next step. So, until then, happy carving to everybody, and we'll see you later. Bye.